hands. Put your hands on your head now. Oh. Walk out. What are you doing? Oh my God. I'm suing the f out of you. What's your name? Turn around. Okay. I want you out of the house. Get him out. This is your last chance. Okay. Get your stuff and you gotta leave. Here. Dude, get the f off my arm right now. This guy lost his job. She punched me across my face. Imagine waking up every day in a household where the people meant to protect you are your worst nightmare. These chilling stories reveal the terrifying moments when kids had to take drastic steps to seek justice against their own parents. Brace yourself for some shocking and heart-wrenching tales. Today, we dive into the dark world of when kids send evil parents to jail. This is Missing Files. Locks nine-year-old out. On the 5th of April, 2023, officers were asked to attend a property to investigate reports of a missing nine-year-old. The mother was worried about his whereabouts, but was clearly under the influence of alcohol. The police wanted to take these concerns seriously, but it soon transpired that not everything is as it appears and that the mother herself was directly responsible for his disappearance. So he feel like... Okay, where's I where's see. for now? I, I went looking and he came I'm gonna do what I need to do. And this is not, he's up against the, I don't know, it's the hip hop, uh, the, the music thing. Okay. Um, the YouTube. Okay, so which way to go? Let's go get him. This way. How can I go get him when I was already, and my knee is already busted from here. I can't run. Okay, so. Who, I can't run right behind him. Who takes him. care of Jeffrey? You're not able to take care of him? I am. Okay, do you need help with like DCF or something? If you can't. Well, call him DCF. Call him. Call him. Call him. Call him. Okay. I want you to call him. Alright. So which yeah, way did call he go? Him. He went this way. I don't know. He went to go play. He told me he going to Lincoln Park. He going to... Where's Lincoln Park? It's down on That's the if... No, not there. That's Lincoln Park. Oh, no. yeah, that is Lincoln In Fort Park. Lauderdale. Oh, that... Fort Lauderdale, Lincoln Park. Okay. And then he want to go back to Fort Lauderdale. I'm not from here. I'm not from here. I'm from Fort Lauderdale. This is where our family is from. Is there a park somewhere over here that you go play to? Yeah, it was a park, and he usually go there, and I walked okay. through so that. Which way did you last see him walk away? I walked through that, and I followed him. I chased him through there, and it, he he just disappeared. Maybe if you just want to check South yeah. Park, I guess. Yeah, yeah what is that's it? why I called you. Do you have a picture? 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 Do you have a photograph? What is he wearing? Nine, fifteen hundred Walmart. What is he Black wearing? jeans, blue shirt, uniform shirt, like school uniform. Like you say a oh, uniform shirt? Yeah, and um, Jordan um shoes. What color shoes? Um, white and blue. How tall is he? He's why why are you trying to like he's five? No, not even five. It's four, four seven. Four seven. Is he thin? Is he thin? Is he fat? Is he's thick? He's thick. What kind of hair? Short hair? He, yes, he got good hair, like um, Indian hair. Like what? Indian hair. His hair is curly. Oh and okay. Where, where's that? Where's the nice photo? Of him? Hmm? The photo? The picture of him? This don't make no sense. And y'all want to put the pants in like? Like, Man, we have to, we don't know what he Man, looks like. Y'all, if, if y'all want to be against us, y'all stop the YouTube and stop everything that's going on with the kids. In order to be able to find your kid, we have to know what he looks like and what he's wearing. No, I'm saying like when he approached me, when he approached me, when you approached me, it was disrespectful. Okay. okay. Well, do you have the photo that way I can start looking for him? Because I want to be able to find your kid. Hold on. And I gotta go on face. Facebook. What color were Jordans? Luckily, the cops have found the missing boy after his own mother had accidentally locked him outside. They're not impressed and are now investigating the mother for neglect. The case has taken on a completely new direction. His, his name's John. How are you? So she is hammered. And he was a neighbor, and it's like, yeah, Ooh, he's been on chicken back all day. So, hey, how are you? I like I like your shoes. What do you get? What do you got in the bag? 
Indian dish. Oh, where'd you get that? Uh, store. Oh, cool. What's your favorite one? Sweet sauce? He'll be over there in just a second. Hold on just a second, Jeff. Jesus Christ, y'all see this? See what he says about him. Who gave you money like that? I been had it. Give it to me. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to. Jeff, okay. For what? I just want to ask him a couple questions. Y'all don't want to talk to my son. And yes, we do. I'm not listen, giving you consent this, this to talk to my son. This, listen, listen, this is my supervisor. You no, I'm not questions. giving you consent to talk to my son. What? Come on. Hey, come over here. No. Come over here. Y'all, ma'am. Y'all, you got him all right. I'm trying to figure out why he's, why, why is he running away from home? He's not running away from home. He want to do what he want to do. He, he, like YouTube and all the other things like other kids do. Like, does he have it? Does he have his own computer? Yes, it's a computer in there. Does he have a, a cell phone too? No, it's no cell phone. No, just your, does he get on your cell phone and play around? Yeah, he play on my um cell phone. He download a lot of games on my cell phone. Does he do TikTok? Yes. Yeah, you gotta be very careful with that. It is yeah. my TV. My TV is. Yeah, TikTok. That's <laughs> not good to have. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. This stuff that goes around in the internet, if anybody need to be prosecuted, we need to prosecute the TikTok. I agree. 100%. And yep. these kids with bad language and feel like they need to be something that they ain't. Yeah, it's changing, it's changing kids' perspectives. I mean, at and the it's, end a of the day, it's a danger because it's a danger because they're saying everything that's going on in the house. It, it, the rap music as yep. well. The rap music as well is is dumb and it, it's like it's a, a bad demon. influence. Yeah, I agree. I don't listen to hip hop. And my son tell you, I don't listen to hip hop. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't enjoy it. At the end of the day, I listen to gospel and and hip hop play. Is it talk. just Jeffrey that lives here with you, or is it your other kids too? My other kids too. The woman's intoxication has made this case very different, but it's obvious this is a recurring run of events. The officers talk with the neighbor to see if this is a pattern that needs to be stopped. Run out and just leave. He just runs out and leaves. Does it happen quite a bit, or yeah, yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's too little to be running off like that. Well, she don't, he don't watch him. Sometimes she lock him out. He to take him an hour to get in the damn house. That's what he said today. That mom wouldn't let him outside. So, so he would go the other way. Okay. But have you seen her actually drink anything today? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know. Whatever she's doing inside. Okay. Thanks for school. Thank you. 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 What do you like about school? He give me headaches when waking him up for school. It's like it's a problem. What's your, like, what's your, I'm, I'm, I'm basically what's, tired of it. I'm sick of it. What's your favorite class at school? Do you still play with the parachutes where they get everyone under the parachutes? No, do you guys they have, don't do that. They don't do that? you never done that? They do ball. Oh, no. Finding your child. Okay, we need to check your house real quick. You can't check my house. I ain't giving you no okay. permission. You ain't got no warrant to walk in my house. We want to make sure your child's safe, so. My son is safe. Okay. You ain't safe around y'all. Hey, hey y'all can't avoid evade my house? Let me call 911. Look, wait. Hey, if you call 911 while we're standing here, we're going to arrest you for abuse of 911, call DCF, and they're going to have to take custody of Jeff. Is that what you want? Yep. Yeah. Five, five, details, yep, and I'm gonna be charged because y'all, y'all. We need to make sure that he's being taken care of. Y'all ain't respecting my rights, and at the end of the day, my son did what he did. At the end of the day, do he look hurt? Look, he healthy. Look, look at him. Take a picture. Okay. Don't put your camera on him. It's like he's not home, not one bit, y'all. He's out wandering 45th Street on his own. He's eight years old. That's that's really not good. He kept doing it. How many times I told you not to do that, Nick? That made no damn sense. Y'all call DCI. Call DCI. I don't give a f about none of that. We're we're gonna call DC if we have to. I don't give a damn. Okay. You don't even have to. Do you have a DCF caseworker? <laughs>
After everything the cops have seen, they've come to the conclusion that this mother is no longer fit to be a parent and has to be placed under arrest after previously suggesting they'd leave. Yeah, it's just me. Okay. Can I talk to you outside? You can just wait over here. No, my son, he can come out. No, no, he can just wait. He can wait inside the house real quick. Let me just talk to you real quick, okay? What is that? Put your hands behind your back. Why? Put your hands behind your back. I'll explain to you in a moment, okay? Okay. Is there anyone at all that can care for Jeffrey, Grandma, Grandpa, Aunt, Uncle? What is this? What I'm being charged? What I'm being charged? Child neglect. Huh? Child neglect? When I'm calling the police because he's okay. Is there anybody we can? Call? I can't run. My knees is bad. I'm not taking a photo right now. So why can't photo. take? Why can't wear my f***ing headband? We're not taking a photo. Get in the car. Get in the car. Listen, 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 listen. You number one, don't you can't. You ain't got to blow up. All right, get in the car, okay? The woman was charged with child neglect without bodily harm, while this woman had no interest in caring for her son, Jacob Edward Zees. Our next case begins on the 22nd of August, 2023. Officers were called to investigate reports of a domestic disturbance after a father had abused his son in their household. They encountered Jacob Edward Zees, a millionaire who seems to believe that he's above the law due to his immense cash. However, the police quickly learn from some quirky conversations and Jacob's foul attitude that they're going to have to take quick and decisive action and arrest the so-called entrepreneur. Hi, sir. How's it going? I'm Officer Partan in St. Cloud Police. Who's, who's all in here right now? No, not here. Yeah. Okay. There's some not run over here because the house across the street, across the lake. The lake okay. Across the lake, so you know, this is okay. my nephew. Okay, I got you. What's up, man? Right What's going on, bro? Uh, all right, sir. You can come inside, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, hey, Jacob, it's the police department, man. Excuse me? You heard what the fuck I said. All right, calm it down. Get the fuck off my property, you Well, I need to talk to you. You don't need to talk to me at all, nigga. Hands behind your back. What'd I do? You're gonna stay right there. What'd I do, bro? When I tell you to get on the ground, you no, say you bro, want a fist fight. On... Stay on wow, the ground. Wow, bro, you're going to jail. Dog. Stay on the ground. I'm, I'm done, dog. I'm 10-4. I have I'm a taser deployment. I don't even know what the f you're doing, dog. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna lose your okay, job, that's bro. That's fine. I'm trying to investigate a battery. You're being extremely aggressive. Investigate with me. a battery. Yes, sir. I There's didn't nobody even, even here. Let me, let me fix right, your cups, man. Wow. Dude. Hold on, hold on. This is crazy, bro. Just, I'm trying to leave my property. There's nobody even home. There's nobody even home, bro. This, bro. That's crazy, bro. You're gonna, bro. I'm gonna sue the. Get out okay, of here, if we stand you up, are you gonna become I'm violent? Fine. Okay, all right, he's I'm gonna stand fine. You up. You're gonna lose your job. I just want a lawsuit, bro. Okay. You think you're gravy, huh? You think it's gravy? It's on camera. You see that? Yep. You see that? Okay. You shot me in the back, bro. Are for... you going to allow Listen. him to stand you up? Yes or no? Bro, I got no problem with no... bro. You're okay. A... Allow him to stand you up so we can get the barbs out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stand can up. I smoke a cigarette? Bro, what's your name again? My name is Jacob Edwards. Yeah. Jacob, this nigga just shot relax. me on my hey, own property, Jacob, dog. You remember me? I, I guess I dealt with you're you. You're gonna lose Jacob. your job, bro. I'm hey, suing Jacob. you for relax. everything. It's right there on camera. Jacob is not happy about his arrest and flies off at the police, verbally abusing them and showing off his own riches. He even suggests that he'll get his lawyers involved. What am I in cuffs for? What am I in jail for? Why did he shoot me while I, in the back? What did he do that for? Bro, I just showed up. I exactly. Going on. Did you show up to arrest me? Bro, I showed up because I heard them call for help. I heard, I heard Dude, Taser and I showed he, up. He pulled up, I, 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 bro, I said, I'm not talking to you, bro, and I walked in and he shot me in the back. Yeah, I'm zipping up your... Bro, I'm, hey, I'm hiring, I uh, listen, I, hey, listen, please, look, check all that money in there, check all that money in there, check all the money in there, check all the money in there, check all that money in there. Look, check all that money in there. I'm not touching. Check all that money not, in there. Not yet with that. Check all that money in there. Not check that. all that money in there. Hold on, I'm hiring the best lawyer. Okay. The best. I'm every, every dime in that purse right there, nigga. 
is going towards prosecuting you, bro. Can we not use that word? You're right. My bad. It ain't it ain't racist. I my best. I, 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 I feel ain't, you, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say that. But, I feel you. Bro, that's, yo, I'm pr pursuit uh, to the fullest. What am I on arrest for? I, I'm not here for that, Jacob. Um, I need to look at your back. Are you all right? You need any medical Dude, my, my, my calves are okay. shaking okay. tremendously right now, dog. Do you mind this dude do you shot mind? me in the back on my own property okay, going into my own house. Back, please? For no reason. Okay. Didn't, didn't identify himself. Okay, Jacob. Didn't identify himself. Jacob. Didn't tell me nothing. We'll, we'll shot this, me in the back. Jacob. Come up and Jacob. shot me in the back. Jacob, listen, man. Go away. That's, go away. That's how court stuff. Jacob. Listen. Uh, we gotta do some stuff. Yeah, no, 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 no. My lawyer will figure it out. Jacob. Jacob has obviously been in trouble with the law before, with an officer actually recognizing him. Supposedly, he always gets away without any charges. The primary concern right now is ensuring that he's safe, with officers questioning whether to bring in an ambulance to look at the injuries sustained from a taser. No charges were filed. Everything was dropped. I still did time, still bonded out, and still did all this. Why? Because I did nothing. Okay, same thing right now. This guy lost his job. I listen. I'm done talking. It's you. Think, it's you, I'm, I'm pretty sure you heard this a thousand times. But wow, dude. Wow, bro. This guy creeps up out of nowhere. I'm loading my truck to. to, to yeah. Yeah. That guy's a monster right there, dude. I wasn't here. I know it. I'm not. I, what, what crime have I done? Why are you guys here? Uh, they're fired. Because, because my, no, no, no. My, I'm here because you got tased. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're making sure. So you I'm don't, sorry. I'm not. I'm not. Be, I'm, yeah, I know. Other than that, there was nothing. There was. There was. There was nothing. Right. It was a call. Why? Because I. Because I, I went in there and started clearing my shit out, and no one's even home. What am I arrested for? You guys have to take me to jail now. I understand that. You guys got to cover your ass or for your partners. But what have I done? What's the crime? Dude. There's nothing. Why am I, I in handcuffs then? So you're you're detained at this point. At this point. I've been yeah. I've been almost killed with a, 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 a 40 taser second. Can't, taser can't kill you. If I was on crack cocaine or something like yeah, that, it damn sure could. And he don't know nothing about me. And he just shot me for no reason. But I could be on any I type of medication. I remember, I remember our last conversation. Yeah. You said you've been clean for. I'm. A I've been long, clean. Long I'm time clean now. as fuck. Yeah. I, so you look so very the, different from what I. Yeah. That, that cancels look, out there. Look oh. in that purse. I got thirteen thousand dollars right there, and I got thirteen one hundred and thirty thousand dollars in my bank account. That I'm gonna spend every dime prosecuting that dude right there. Believe it. Yeah, you said you. Ran yeah, a this is no company? joke, bro. I own a gutter company, oh, bro. Gutter company. I make thousands of dollars a day. I can remember if it was gutters this or is, long. This is this dude. That guy's done. Toast. Eventually, Jacob is taken to jail, and he seems to be a bit more compliant. He makes the necessary calls, but is placed behind bars until he's able to be bailed out. A phone call to your employee. Yeah. All right. I can't let you call your your wife. No. Or your kid or no, anything I like can't that. Contact her at all. Yeah. And then there'll probably be some stipulations for a while. Once you get out, I'm not sure how that works, but you know. Yeah, this is not the first time this has happened. Yeah. Mike. Yo. I'm in the back of a cop car. Okay. Um, I'm going to jail. I'm right here at the door. You, okay. you, you talked me into going home, and that was the worst thing. Um, and here I am. But no, it's not your fault. I'm just bullshit. But hey, I need your Probably help. Jail. Yeah. I need your help big time. Yeah. Yeah. How do I get you out? I got all the money in the world. It don't matter. Uh, I, need, I need you to help me get out of here, dude. I will. I don't got. I don't got anybody. I, you know, I'm. I rely totally on my wife, brother. And I, I got no money but my employees and Spanos. I don't can I don't know about him, but um, I'm here. Okay, buddy. I'll get you out. If you can get me out, however, how I got. I'm gonna be in here for you know, cause it's domestic. Um. First parents. Yeah, I gotta go to first parents or whatever, but I'm gonna need fucking um I'm gonna need an address for PTR. Okay. I'm gonna need pretrial release, I'm gonna need an address to to, to give these people and all this shit, dude. You know what I'm talking about. Uh the police officer is being nice, he's letting me make this call before I get in here. You um, need me to write his number down for you? I'll get no give that don't let me do that in there. Alright. Uh what'd you say, brother? Can you use a hotel as your address for PTR? I, I don't I don't know. I don't know how it works, but Okay. I'll I'm just I'm yeah, I'm fucked royally. I'm talking about royally, royally fucked. How much do you think your bonds are gonna be? 
It don't matter. That don't, I'll, bond, I'll, I'll bond out. That don't matter. I got I got ten grand on me right now. I'm going oh, to I'm going to jail with ten grand in my pocket. So you can go you can go on yourself out, probably. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Jacob was charged with domestic battery by strangulation, battery by touch or strike, child abuse without great bodily harm, assault on a law enforcement officer, and resisting arrest without violence. Evil parents threatening her son with voodoo. 26th of June, 2022 in Florida. Police were asked to speak with someone who was previously involved in a domestic violence case. They revealed that their mother was threatening them to drop the case as the incident was against the mother's boyfriend who had assaulted her son. However, the strange part was that the mother was actually threatening her son with voodoo. The police take both the suspects and the victim's statements before proceeding. Yeah, that's what he said. My older home. So well, that's the, where he's moving at. He's no longer living here. So the owner of the house can come in back here. Where is he? Okay. Can, can yeah, I talk? Just the last stuff that I have can I talk to him for a minute? Do you mind? Yeah. I'm not even inside. He just went inside. Okay. I don't know why he's doing that. Why? He, I, he just called you? Yes, ma'am. Hey. Why are you calling? Hold on, let me. You calling them? Yeah, let me let me talk to him for a minute. So what's going on between you and you and him? What are his Why are you moving his stuff out? This is not his house. Okay. This I, is not mine. I, I have a dollar okay. home. I know. I understand I, it, but I didn't ask that. I said, why are you moving his stuff? He don't belong here. The owner of are the you, house has to move here. Are you kicking him out? I'm not kicking him out. If I kick him out, you will be in the suite. But did he say that he, he he's moving out? Who? What? Remember what I told you like a couple, Listen, like literally four days ago? Uh, uh that's make the kids messed up. I pay the bill here. I have another house. Right, but yeah, what he say? So I'm gonna whatever take that as, he like it or don't like I'm it. I'm gonna take that as no, he didn't say that, right? What do you mean? Did he say that he's going to move I out? I move him in another okay. house. You're not answering my question. Did he say that he, he's going to move out? Of course he want to move. Did, okay. He can't live here. Ma'am, did he say that is what I'm asking. You're not answering my question. What do you mean if he say? Did he say that I'm going to move out? Is he going to pay bill here? Okay, you're did not... Did he pay the mortgage here? There's no question. Listen, I could call my brother. He's a detective and he's a lieutenant. That's perfectly fine. Give him a wolf on top of his head. Okay, but... You but, can feed him and give him a call, give him nothing. But you're not answering my question, though. Did he say he's going to move out? Yes. Or, do, or is that... He or agreed you want, with me to move out. You want him to move out? No, no, no. He agreed with me to move out to another place. What? Which is, he doesn't have to pay a dime. He has a wolf on top of his... What That's else can you him, be in the life? Him paying the bills is, is beside the point. He but cannot he, stay here. He didn't give you any... The owner of the house has to okay. come back here. Are you, you're going to let me talk for a minute? He did not give you permission to go in his room and remove his stuff. Yes, he gave me permission. No, he did not. Listen. Okay, okay. if you want to be homeless, I can let him be so homeless. So you're still trying to act as his parent, not as, like, his roommate, because he, he is an adult and he lives here. What do you here. mean, roommate? Because he is an adult. You cannot, you cannot parent well, him I anymore. Well, I can kick him out for good, so he be in the street. So you're trying to kick him out now? I, if I was kicking him out, I would not put him in the womb. He's trying to kick him out of this house, though. He has a womb. He has a, another place to live. He has too much option. That's why he's doing that. The son is not taking this situation lightly and decides to press charges against the mother. After filling out the correct paperwork, the police are now on a mission to arrest the mother, and she doesn't resist. Raise your right hand for me. Mm -hmm. Just trying to affirm everything you wrote in here and told me is true, yeah. true, true and correct to the best of your knowledge. Yeah. All right, I know you're a son, but... Can you just date that for me? Today's the 626. Do you have any uh, desire to prosecute? Yeah. Can you grab me one of those, please? And then a uh, victim pamphlet. And then uh, Marcy's Law as well, I'm sorry. All right, so so what this is is basically a, a form saying that you do want to press charges, okay? I know you told me, but we still have to get on a paper. So what's, when I need you to your information private, um, you will put print your name there, sign, date, and then put your date of birth. Uh, and I know it, the, the form we did before is for the other case. This one is going to be for this one. You got 
got a tenon back. Okay. All right. If your we'll, parents we'll, take. Here. Put your hands behind your back. Got that one? Yep. It's unclear what she was charged with, but tampering seems like it'd be a significant part of that list. Peter Anthony Baker. Our next case starts on the 25th of August, 2023. A father, Peter Anthony Baker, had reportedly gotten into a fight with his daughter over her new clothes. Officers arrived to the scene after the incident was reported and are incredibly firm with their desire to quickly bring this case to a close. Looking to make an immediate arrest, they're prepared to use force if required to remove Peter from the premises and bring him to justice. Here's what happened when they first apprehended him. Arrest and then... Let me see your hands. Show me your hands. Put your hands on your head now. Walk out. Walk out to me now. Come out. Come out right now. Walk out to me. What are you doing? Oh my God. What are you doing? Don't move. You're under arrest. We ask you to come out. What? Wait, whoa, 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 I'm in my house. Hey, what are you doing? Why did you just slam me on the ground like that? Oh my God. No way. No fucking way. Why? Wait, wait. Why did you do that? You weren't listening. We asked you to come outside and put your hands up and you don't listen to that. Well, I did. Unfortunately, you didn't. You did not have to slam me. Uh, why am I under arrest? Come, come, come toward me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Is there anybody else in the house with you? Okay. Come outside. Come to me. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna get him out of here. Okay, come. Just come to me. Walk towards the sergeant over there. Sorry, I got Pokemon here. I mean, how? Do you have any weapons on you? Wait a second. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Yes, sir. We do. Do you have any weapons on What is that? Well, I do not have any sidearms on me. Okay. Is there one inside the house? Uh, no. So what's going on? It's not an emergency spot. You can get uh, my, my, my daughter called and said I was trying to kill her or something. We'll talk to you in a minute. Oh my God. Okay, let's mm. step over here. Okay. Right. Holy Lord, I'm not allowed to talk to my daughter the right way and she, she can lock herself in her bedroom. That's and your I daughter? Can, huh? That's your daughter? That's my daughter. How old is she? 17. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I did not commit any crime whatsoever. I'm being a father. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you guys did this to me, not my daughter. You guys. I mean, this is, I mean, like, what the hell did you call me? 1222. You guys came with guns out? After the police take down the suspect and place him in cuffs, they give him a chance to explain what happened. He labors the fact that he did not approve of her clothing, but that certainly isn't an excuse. Uh, I came home. My daughter had a bunch of Gucci Mama clothes that she bought from Sheen. That I, she doesn't have that. Um, she does not have that on her phone. She's not able to buy that. So our next door neighbor bought them right here. All right, she did. And I went over and I spoke to the husband. I said, hey, listen, you cannot let her buy these coochie mama clothes. I understand she's almost 18, but until then, she has to live by my rules, all right? She got really upset, my daughter did, and got a little physical with me. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm, you know, that's, that's when I went and talked to the neighbor next door. And I came in and she locked her door. I said, open your door. You're 17 years old. Open your freaking coochie mama clothes that you bought. I was going to cut them up with scissors, all right? Huh? And she wouldn't open the door. So I kicked her door in. I said, and I was going to take it off the hinges, but I had to go get a, a, a hammer and, and, a, and a screwdriver to get the door off the hinges. You're, you're a minor. You are under my protection until you're 18. That's it. And so I, was, I, I kicked the door in and she just ah, ah, freaked out, whatever. Boom. So she ran into the bathroom and I just started going through her clothes. Okay. And that's it. Did you ever, did you ever lay your hands on her? No. Do, do you see any marks on her? Did you, I'm just asking. Absolutely did you ever... not. I did not lay hands on my daughter. Nothing like that. 
all I did, I kicked the door open, she freaked out, she went into her bathroom, locked it, and I and you can go see all the clothes on the floor in there. I started going through her clothes and looking for hoochie mama clothes. That's it. The officers seem relatively satisfied with the description they've been given and checked the suspect for concussions. The Trump fan seems to be under the influence of alcohol, but it doesn't appear that he's committed any crimes based on his own analysis. I don't feel like I'm concussed okay. or anything right, right. now. You, you, My neck is sore. Right. Um, I know. mean, it, it, if in a day or two, I, okay. you I'm know what's still sitting having... All right. That's why you know what city you're in right now? It's yeah, I'm in Cloud. Yeah. All right. You know who the president of the U.S. is? Uh, I, I was hoping it would be Donald Trump, but it's, right. it's, it's Joe Biden, All right. Un you, unfortunately. Yeah, you know what month we're in right now? Uh, we are in... August, all right, all right. at the very end of August. All right, man, so you're okay then? You'll yeah, okay. yeah, I'm okay. All right, bud. All right, man. Thanks, bro. God, my, my daughter is really putting me through the ring. She, like, wants me to go to jail. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with you and your daughter, man. Uh, Dude, my ex-girlfriend, okay, we lived in Mellon Pond with her, with my daughter, mm -hmm. and they hated each other. Just, they just fucked to the nail. And I chose my daughter. And I moved out into this fucking place. I make way too much money to be living in this place, but I have another house in, in Mallard Pond. Mm -hmm. A real house, you know? Gotcha. Oh, God. So I moved here with her. It's been decent. She does. She babysits them, you know. But the, the, the wife over there, you know, bought her all these clothes. So I went over and I talked to him. I was like, "Yo, what the fuck is this? You know, she, your wife cannot be buying my daughter these hoochie mama clothes. When she turns 18, and she wants to buy her all the hoochie mama clothes, then I can't say nothing. Mm -hmm. But until then, she's still my daughter." Yeah. The cops also speak with the daughter who's gone through this traumatic ordeal. Her account of the events may change their decision entirely of what to do with Peter. I don't even know how to explain it because it's happened so many times before just, and no one ever just said anything. Just focus on today. I promise you today we're going to do something about it. Okay, we're already here doing something about it now. You're safe, whatever happened, happened. Okay. I was wearing... That's his room. That's his room. There's no one in there? No. It's just Nobody's us that lives here. Suspect's room. So it was the next time I was wearing my tank top to go to sleep. He's on the phone with his friend. And I come out and he says I'm just like a whore and like all this stuff, whatever. And he comes and he tries to come in my room. I'm like, what? Like he's drunk. I just don't want to deal with him. And he says, give me all your clothes. I'm cutting them all up whatever. Then he just breaks down my door. Because you went back to your room at this point? Because I can't put myself surrounded by him. I can't do it. Like, my, I can't. So he comes and he breaks my door down. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I'm just speechless. Like, I can't. I can't. Where were you in the room at this point? I was standing, like, right in front of my desk, just standing there. And then he just starts like grabbing everything, trying to look like through my whatever my clothes, trying to get my clothes ripped it up and all that. Okay. And I'm just trying to like think. That's okay. Here. Just take the time. And I tell, I go, I go after him. I'm like, please stop. Like he has like all my clothes, whatever. I'm like, please stop. Like you, you don't know what you're doing. You're drunk. Like please stop. Just you're just so drunk right now. Please just stop. And he's screaming and yelling at me. I'm a whore of all this, whatever. Peter was eventually taken to the hospital and then to jail. He was charged with aggravated child abuse, domestic battery by strangulation, and resisting arrest without violence. However, all of those charges were subsequently dropped. Michelle, our next case begins on the 18th of July, 2023 in Ohio. A mother, Michelle, had been reported to the police after refusing to leave a property after being asked to several times. This standoff led to a much larger verbal altercation with the situation dramatically escalating. Police arrived to try and defuse some of the tension, but Michelle wasn't able to calm down. Here's how the officers dealt with the erratic individual. No, I'm just not gonna wait for you. Why do I, why do you gotta wait for me? Because I know you. Why do you gotta wait for me? Because I know you. Why do you gotta wait for me? Because I know you. 
I've done with you for the last 12 years of my life. Ultimately, and you don't leave. Know. Why the f do I have so, to? Leave. They don't want you here. I didn't know that. I'm telling Why? you that. They don't want you here. That's fine. I'm trying to f***ing leave anyway. You're messing with the trash. You're Who not doing anything. Who gives a f***? Oh, my God. His car is still in the screen. Okay. No shit. That's what I'm trying to okay. do. Dog. Oh. It's fine. Probably not. So what the f*** is your two problem? I know he's a f*** bite. We're playing a game here. Who wants to biggest, be the biggest f*** bite? I told I you to stop being a dick to him. No. Because he was going to call. going to win. But. And that's why you can't. He's a cop calling. And you did. I did you call, did. Dude. <laughs> I did not call. And they could say I did Shit. not. Because I did not call. They have it on record. I did not call. I, don't get I just want you to stop acting like that. Just calm down, dude. It's literally, I didn't have a problem. You need to stop moving the and throwing and breaking shit. Though, what are we doing? Sense. No one's, no, no she's from. not throwing you breaking shit. Up, get, can stop now. talking to your daughter like that. Get your shit. Get you out. Heard how the fuck she's talking to me like I don't that. give a shit. You raised her. This is on you. Get you your shit and get out. Who the fuck do you think you are to talk to me like Just that? Just leave. Talk to anybody like that. Uh, the officers have given Michelle chance after chance, but she's refusing to comply, even mocking the police and her daughter. Her entitled attitude and belief that she lives in this house only worsens matters. This is your last chance. Okay. You get your I stuff and you gotta leave. To hear. You need to get your stuff and you, you, you need to get Listen, your stuff and you need to leave. Get your stuff right now, or you're gonna be arrested for trespassing. I'm trespassing. Get your you stuff. Here. She just said I can live here. No, no she, she did not. not. Let's she get said your stuff. I don't let's live go. Here. You don't live here. So let's get yes, your stuff. Yes, the I do. All right. Let's get your stuff. What's all yours? Book bag. Go. Come on. Unsurprisingly, the cops have had enough and place Michelle under arrest. She resists, adding more charges to the list, but the officers are hell-bent on dragging her from the property. Ow! Dude, get the f off my arm right now! Stop! Now! Now! Stop! Are you gonna not twist me? You bastard broke my arm, dude! Stop. I have to put her down! Listen to me. Guardian. We are... Ow. We are past yeah. that, Chloe. Wake up! Dude, what did you give her? <laughs> Karma? Get this no. hair out of my mouth, dude. Chloe, please. Police station, show one female in custody. Chloe! Chloe! I, I put your arm in the. Here, 2111. Oh, man, I taste this. And blood. <laughs> Please make sure she's out to see her dog. I have to put her down. Listen, Very I, I understand that. Please. But she <laughs> has decided. <laughs> she's nine years old. Oh, f***ing assholes. Pop it back in place, please. Let's do this. Stand up. Stand up. Dude. Michelle. Stand up. Stand up. Now that is ridiculous. Just stand up so you can feel better. When her arms are behind her back, it hurts her worse. She can't move that. Close. Oh, Listen, dude. we gave her plenty of opportunities. She wanted to then, as soon as I went to go hands on to arrest her, she wants to resist. Right, bro, exactly. Come on. Exactly. Again. Stand <laughs> up. All right, I this is what we're doing, Hosser. Come here. So I have Hosser, to grab an ankle. Let's go. Please don't hurt her. Hey. Please don't. That feels better, Chloe. Ah. She wants to act like Mom, this. Get up! You're gonna look stupid in front of my door? neighbor. Dude, I'm trying to do something, Chloe. Just grab it up. Out. You're gonna stand. Grab the out, Chloe. What? Just grab the out. That's what. Listen. Don't break the. Nobody here. is. I have to pay for that. I'm not dealing with this. It seems this woman was sent to jail just for the night, then released the next day. This suspect would never be a responsible parent. Drunk mom assault on kid. Our next case takes place at night in early 2024. Officers are called to a domestic dispute where two suspects are arguing with one another. Alcohol seems to be a primary factor and each suspect wants the other removed from the premises. However, the cops are also concerned about the welfare of a kid on scene. The cops must therefore interview the suspects and eyewitnesses involved in the situation to get a clearer understanding of who's right and who's going to jail. I'm doing great. I need her gone somehow. She punched me across my face. You need her what now? Can I, pr can I press charges on well, her? Well, hold on just a minute. Let me relax a little bit. What's her name? She's butt snake. Okay, what's your name? 
My name is Jason Mann. Okay, Jason. I'm sorry I called y'all out here. That's okay, bud. We got, what's her name? Shelly Mann and Shelly. Kevin's in the shed. Okay, Kelly. Kevin, the cops oh, are here and want to talk hey, to you. Listen, listen, hold it. Hear me out. Hear me. Hey, talk to her. Okay, okay talk give, me, to give me a phone. Shelly. It's on lock. Come in. Please, are, you, are, you, are you dressed? Yes, sir. Not dressed. My son has beat me. Okay, what's wrong? What's going on today? Have just stay right there. That little son of a bitch has brought me all the way down. Listen, I am protecting him from many, many <laughs> months. I can't do it no more. He's got to go. Kimball. All right. <laughs> you this is your son? Check, you can take him to sister. Okay. okay. Your name is Shelly? Yes, sir. What's your last name, Shelly? Man. M-A-N-N? What's your date of birth? I What's your date of birth, please? What's your date of birth, Miss Man? Man, that ain't worth Do me a favor, wait right there in front of your truck for me, please. It won't wear one of me, sir. It hurts. Do you need an ambulance? I don't need an ambulance. Okay. Well, I'm in. Mean, I can get him to come out here if you need me to, Miss Shelly. No, I don't need you. I need you to take me to the hospital. Okay. All right. Okay. What started this tonight? What's going on? Well, you know, I just wanted to tell you how much I love you. Okay. Well, you know, what's the deal? Listen, I'm not going to get his way. And he doesn't send me. He doesn't what? He don't get his way. Mm -hmm. and what, it was, what, he wants. what was it? What started it? Weed. 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 Mm -hmm. He's on probation. Mm -hmm. I'm ta um, I'm, um, Bullet County. I will not allow it. Nine bullet. And he promised me if he left me. Shelly Man, 530 of 81. Do what? He promised me. That if I'm with him alone, he would leave me alone, but I never believed it. He's on probation. Yeah, I can't on probation help for what? Him. What happened to your legs there? What were you trying to do? Leave? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm trying to leave because he's hurt me two times before. Two times before. This has already been a very difficult case for the officers to deal with, but the drunken woman is about to step it up a notch, making wild accusations and talking nonsense to the cops. However, the kid involved in this case is about to complicate things more. I'm going to tell you right now. Get me back to my porch. I'm telling you, this man right here, you're trying to get out after 25 years of what you have done to this family. And I know every bit of it, baby. I know every mother. So if you want help, you come after me. Okay. Right. Because listen, listen, no, 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 no. stop, stop, sir. Uh, don't put your hands on me now, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I won't touch you. Sir, sir, my son right there is autistic. <laughs> oh, Joe, because he didn't want to hurt him. Your son taught me, your son taught me how to hurt my kid. I'm going to tell you what. There you go. You going back to the house to go to bed? I'm going to go back to you. Okay. See if you can't get her to go to bed. Nine bullet. Step back here, please, Jason. Jason Mann. Yes. 226 of 07. Stand right here for me, please, sir. You live here, you and your mama and Mr. Gorley? Yeah, Mr. Gorley, I don't know where he is. I ain't care about it. He runs off. It's so, so be it. And why were you why were you holding your mama down? What was she wanting to do? She tried to she punched me across my face. Where she, at? Right here. But okay. I don't know if it's bruised or not. I don't see a bruise, no sir. But she punched me, she kicked me, he hit she hit my stepdad across the face. Mm -hmm. I don't get why she's doing this. She's drunk. I know she's drunk, but she can't be doing this hitting me. No, she cannot. Not supposed to be doing this. That's what that's what not what's supposed to do. Not supposed to do it. Supposed, do you have a license, Jason? You ever had a license? No, I'm Good on the 16. I'm ready to get them. Jason, Jason Mann, yes. February 6th or 26th of 2007, right? After the revelation that the mother has committed assault and with the clear indications that she's not fit to take on her responsibilities, the mother is arrested and taken to jail. But the officers still have her partner to deal with. Under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. I know right for what? I'll be the last time you throw something at me. Put your hand behind your back. I didn't throw her. You threw the damn remote at me. Uh, you're going to your daddy's, you call, big boy. I am going to my daddy's address. We're 295 right. for the female boy. Do y'all need his something. daddy's address? 37. I got Stop. you, baby. Ha 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 ha. Which side? Faster, quicker. 
because he can't go to his daddy that he is doing whatever to take me. Okay? Be unlocked. It's fine. I'm walking. Okay. Have a seat, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We will have a yep. seat, Miss Ma'am. Yes, sir. Here's, 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 listen, Miss Dorothy. Hey, I'm Lieutenant McGlamry. I've been doing, I've been doing this job for 40. Hold on, hold on. Listen to me. I've been doing this job for 40 years. 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 I've been doing this job I'm not wanting to mess Please, with you. I came over to try to get you, hoping you could defuse yeah. the situation. Well, that's why she's, I, not, uh, she's not wanting to listen well, to nobody because evidently you, you left. Because have you looked at my record? No, I have not. See, I, I got a CPO in, my, in uh, Ohio. A what? A CPO. What's it's that? a restraining order for okay. my kids, yeah. all three of my kids, yeah. and my ex old lady mm -hmm. for domestic violence. Okay. But I. I I, I'm trying to get away from the domestic violence. Well, you did the right thing walking I, away, Bo. That, that was away. Hell, no, no, hell no. I, hey, I, I applaud you for that, brother. Yeah, yeah, Just I get away. I appreciate it. And here's the thing. If she wasn't so drunk and she would listen a little bit, it'd be a different story. But she don't want to listen. I've tried to be nice. I was being nice. We were getting along. The next thing you know, she started telling me, I don't know my job. Blah, 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 blah. When I was, I walked over looking in the shed, tried to, I was hoping you would be there so you could help. We're ten full bullets, so you could help me diffuse her and get her to calm yeah, down a little bit. But then she's just continually cussing and raising. We're gonna we're gonna do a look up the misdemeanor charges on. We ain't gonna slam her with nothing hard, okay? The woman was charged with disorderly conduct and obstructing a police officer. Out of control mother begins on the 23rd of October, 2019. Officers promptly responded to a call from a 17-year-old after they had gotten into a dispute with their mother claiming that their mom was out of control, it was evident that the teenager felt that the family member posed a genuine threat. When the police arrived, the mother attempted to play dumb and brush off the accusations. But the longer the interview went, the clearer it was that this woman could not currently be trusted to care for a minor. Watch what happens when the police question her commitment to motherhood. With the mother going into a complete meltdown, the officers tried to find out what happened from other family members. The interview provides a little more insight, but ultimately leads to a more chaotic situation where the mother is accused of breaking items. I don't know. Her and my mom got into it. That's all I know. She called me at work. I rushed over here. And I guess Eric and her got into it. I don't know. Okay. 
so because Eric called us. I know he okay, did. Okay, so. But I don't want her to know that because yeah. then she's going to take it out on me. Yeah, no, I understand. Okay, so so you do know. So we're just trying to figure out who Eric was to begin with, so that's why. They don't get along. You know, okay. They don't get along. How old is Eric? 17. 17? Okay. And where's uh, your mom at? You said she's in, in the, the back. back. She's in the back, and yeah. they got into it first? I guess. I was at work. You were at work. Okay, so you just got here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to take Christy to go for a ride. You're not taking me anywhere. Eric called the police and said he was in danger? What? Eric called the police and said he was in danger. He said he was worried because he, he was, was worried. He was, Mia, stop twisting you? your words. You said he was in danger. He felt scared for his life. Stop. You're telling me one thing and then twisting my words. That's exactly what you said, right? It is. Okay, so please stop saying that I'm not saying danger the truth. Was, the word danger was not used. He was scared for his life. Fear. Fear. It's there. Same thing. It's, not it's same thing. Okay. Same it's thing. But stop twisting my words. This is why I don't speak to you guys. Okay. Well, here's it's one thing you said, and then you guys flip it. I have nothing to okay. say to you guys. Well, nothing. Here's, here's here's said danger. Nobody else said danger. Nobody I, I said danger, danger when I came in. That somebody said I mean, that they were upset because they were broken. You guys came up on us. I have nothing to say. Nothing. Okay, well, here's the thing. Okay. He was scared that you were breaking things, but he wasn't scared for his life. And okay. then what else? What, what else was said, ma'am? What else was said? Go ahead. You told me. Go ahead. What Somebody else called said? us and said you were breaking things here. No, you're not going to say what you just told me? That they were in danger and everything else? That they were scared because you were breaking stuff. When, Mom, when, pe when things are broken, nice. we're not gonna we're not gonna when game. there's broken glass, it threatens people's safety. Okay. It's on her video. Just like you said. When there's broken glass, it threatens people's Mom, safety. Please, get them. The cops are now satisfied that they understand the complete picture and take the necessary steps to ensure that the 17-year-old is moved to a safer environment. They look to arrest the mother, but you won't be surprised to see that she doesn't go quietly. Stand up. For what? Come on, you're going to jail. What am I going to jail Stand for? Stand up. Where's what am I going to jail for? Your on your back. What am I Don't going to jail for? Don't resist or it'll be worse. What am I going to jail for? Domestic. How is it domestic? I didn't put my hands on anybody. Anyway. Mom! You know what assault is? Assault? Yeah, you know what assault is? What is it? Placing somebody in fear because of your actions. My actions because of Eric! Are you serious? I didn't put... Uh, what are my actions? We'll explain it all to you when we get outside. Can you walk with them outside? I'm going to take a picture of Alright, you ready? Uh, okay. Let's go this way. I didn't do anything. Yep. So now can you explain to me? So now can you explain yes, to me? Yes, I'm going to explain to you when we get in the car. Oh, okay. That's fine. The suspect was eventually charged with assault after being transported to jail.